there are two ways to add folder shortcuts to your home screen either from inside the bubble cloud app press the plus sign select the type of folder change the icon and the name press here choose which bubbles to add or start with blank and from this system pop-up either press add or drag the icon to your home screen and this is the type of shortcut it's going to be with the little bubble clad icon in the lower right corner the other option is to go to your widget drawer and uh, select the folder from there so here we have the widget options on the top and the three folder or pop-up cloud options at the bottom so we can drag the folder shortcut from there onto our home screen and this way it's going to give us similar choices we can change the icon and the name but when we place it this shortcut doesn't have the bubble clad icon in the corner let's add a, a few bubbles in it in both of these so we can change these icons either of them in a similar manner you can just remove this shortcut and uh, go into your widget drawer and place it again after you place it you can change the icon to whatever you would like to change it to you can change its name to whatever xyz and when you tap on it the very first time you will be able to choose which cloud to link to this icon so the same way we can remove this folder icon and also use the widget drawer to place it change the icon change the name and the first time we tap on it we can link it to the cloud we want so here's the two clouds the third option i think is the easiest option is to actually create a widget instead let me drag this here i'm going to make it just a long widget like that and we can add folders to this widget let's name name this widget folder folder and we can add folders to it we can add app folders we can choose the icon we want to use so let's use this one that we used before we link it to the three apps and then we can add the other folder which we can link to the four apps and we can change the layout to the grid layout and actually use the rotation tool to easily rotate it so these two bubbles appear next to each other notice how i used the extended toolbar where i could long press on the rotation arrow to rotate the grid by 45 degrees in the embedded toolbar the rotation arrows cannot be long pressed android doesn't allow long presses in widget controls so here you would have to press it a couple of times 
until they are perfectly horizontal or vertical but if you click on the three dots to go to the extended toolbar here long presses are possible and an easy way to place these next to each other and you could add yet another folder maybe even a contact folder with a different layout let's let's find a contact icon for this one so we could add this third folder which links to yet another folder so there you go there you go they are changing order because we have the option lock bubble sizes and positions unchecked so in this case the more used bubbles will jump to the first position and that's why they were rearranging themselves but you can lock the positions and then tapping on the icons will not cause the bubbles to change places and of course if you don't want this gray box behind it you can remove that also under the cloud configuration just go to the background and set the background opacity to zero so make it completely transparent and you can also hide the pencil under expert options if you hide the pencil you will still be able to get back to editing the cloud by double pressing somewhere in the empty area of the icon also if you want to make this bubbles smaller there are a couple of options you can adjust the margin or the padding around the widget there we go alternatively you can increase the bubble spacing which will also affect the bubble sizes basically and the distance between the bubbles so with uh, these two options you can probably get these bubbles to be exactly the size that you want and the last thing i'm going to show you here is adding bubble animation so you can press on this animation icon it will tell you how to measure or mark the corners of the widget you only need to view this once so i show you how it goes i simply drag the green to the green corner the red to the red corner so that little l-shaped symbol there fits into the l-shaped part of the measuring marker and you can find adjust using these little arrows and press the check mark in the center so after this if you tap on one of these it's going to have this animation before opening the folder